Woo! All right. Hallihallo and hey son from Sweden. This is the sixth episode of the... Fi uh, <laughs> um. All right. Hallihallo and hey son from Sweden. This is the sixth episode of the Swedish Affair, a series of videos where I get to show you what's it like to live in Sweden. And today we have a very interesting topic on the line, the cost of life in Sweden. And reason for that topic was a very lovely and pleasant lady that commented on the previous video that she would like to have a video of this. So that's more or less for you and all the other people out there who are interested. Okay, let's start with the basic facts, the Swedish currency, because they have their own one, the Swedish crown. So the Swedish crown has a code which is SEK and a sub currency like the penny for the dollar or the cent for the euro which is for the Swedish crown Ure. So you have Swedish crowns and Ure. One Swedish crown is about 10 cents. So you want to get like roughly 10 Swedish crowns for a euro. The currency was invented around 1890 something like that. So it's not the oldest currency, but compared to the euro, it's freaking old. And by the way, the sound the coins make, oh, call me a weirdo, but the sound that coins make, I have one here. I can really give you an example right now. So this is, now we have a comparison. This is a Swiss franc, and this is a Swedish kronor, and this is a one euro. I'm gonna give you the sounds now, all right? Good, that is the euro. Now comes the Swedish, uh, no, the Swiss franc. Woo! I'd like three chicken and a beer, please. And now we have the Swedish crown. Oh, oh that was a fail. One more try. Yeah, yeah. All right, enough of the bullshit. Let's come to the interesting part of the video. I'm gonna record my screen for you and whoop. Good. So we're talking about the cost of life in Sweden. I've prepared something for you as always. We start off, see this lovely graphics? Oof. Ah, the meal. The average meal in Sweden costs 9.8. A little more expensive in Germany, but that's all gonna turn right now with the milk. It's already more expensive. 1.1 euros. So I put everything in euros here. 1.1 euros for Sweden and 30 cents less in Germany. Even more of a difference between Sweden and Germany. I took Germany because the data there is like the best, you know? to compare a piece of bread in Sweden 2.2 euros are you dumb and in Germany it only costs you a euro and 30 cents that's almost a euro a piece of bread imagine that but it goes even harder with beer there we actually have the one euro difference between one bottle of beer in Germany and Sweden but as we all know the Germans love the beer So they better have it on a cheap price. And one thing that actually shocked me really hard is water. Ooh, A bottle of water is 260% more expensive in Sweden than in Germany. Speaking 1.3 euros and 30 cents. That's a huge difference, man. All right, let's go on. Now I have some important facts because those examples right now, they were just like to get a feeling for it, you know? So we have a 30% more on consumer prices in Sweden, a 6% less 
rent prices. And if you consider that rent is actually a higher spend, like rent is cheap in Sweden. Okay, let's go back a step because I just said rent is cheap in Sweden. If you live in Stockholm, city center, or Malmö or Gothenburg, city center, blah, a hard place to survive, I can tell. If you're living anywhere else or trying to buy something anywhere else, it's actually pretty doable. Yeah, it always depends on the location and if it's rural or urban. Let's go on. Plus 20% restaurant prices. Hell no. I don't want to go outside, you know. Not only because of the coronavirus, but also you go for a beer. One beer costs you 6 to 10 euros in a restaurant. Like, I'm not sure about that. It's, it's just too pricey, period. Okay, next up. Plus 30%. Of grocery prices which is actually if you think about it a lot imagine you're spending like something north of 200 euros a month on groceries which is not the lot and then you pay another third extra on that then you know how rich I am to live here already for three months let's go next one purchasing power so this is more or less the result of all of them uh, minus four percent purchasing power which is the amount of money that stays in the household after paying all the regular bills like rent and car and blah 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 blah, blah. so the money that you can actually take to consume now we have talked about all the costs and everything more or less the negative side because you have to go give away the bread the money the coin but if you want to spend something you also need to earn something as costs are higher in sweden what would you expect also higher salaries and for once you are right because salaries are actually four percent higher in average than in germany which results in two thousand five hundred euros for the swedish person and two thousand four hundred and fourteen euros for the german person two hundred thousand volt 400,000 volt, 600,000 volt. Okay, let's do the math really quick. 100 euros per month is 1,200 euros per year, which is actually quite nice. But if you think of it that way, that the costs are also higher, I would say on that side, it's pretty equal. But if it's equal on the quality of life side, is a thing that we will look at right now, quality of life. And we have also some indicators there. And you might wonder, are they equal? Yes. Pretty much they are because both countries are rated very high quality of life. And so the costs in this calculation are only one side, but then it's also like um, air quality and public transport and blah, blah, blah. So that is why they are actually on the same level of quality of life, which is good. Hmm. Okay. I hope you, I could inform you a little bit more about the lifestyle in Sweden about the cost you know because money is an essential part in life it's not everything and the quality of life part it is rated very high but I think it's always depending on what kind of person you are if you kind of like the nature lover and traveler and yeah I like moose I like snow I like rivers then yes if you're more the urban guy or maybe a little bit like high-tech lover or something a bit like extraordinary I don't think if you're in the right place in Sweden but if you want you can decide yourself just move here get yourself an apartment on blocket.se and try it and as you would have expected it here comes the loud music yeah I know, I know.